Hey, Dave Lacalle with Head Games Motorworks. Today, we're gonna go from Hamport to Digitize, CNC, Gen 2 Coyote. Keep watching. All right, so we've already thrown this thing on the flow bench a couple times. Uh, this is a test head we had, and we did a pocket port. We showed the gains from doing just the pocket port, just doing a valve, and we are we put it against the boss because everybody thought that the gen 2 cylinder head was just like the boss and we debunked that myth now we're going to do our full port and i think that people need to understand that if you're doing the, you don't need a fully ported head always now a lot of the guys are going to be like well i don't need a ported head at all because guys are making an 1800 or whatever with the stock cylinder head. But the problem is that you get to a point of diminishing return. So yes, you can make the power, you can turn the boost up and make the power, but the problem is at that point, it becomes an issue because you're gonna be turning the boost up to an unsafe level. Now you're gonna have to worry about beating the bearing out of it. You're gonna have to worry about a whole lot of other things. You're making an unreliable combination when we can just port the cylinder head, you make the same power at a lower boost level, and then you have super happy boosted beatings. This is our CNC port, Gen 1 port that we just stuck in this head just to see where it would clean up. And uh, just as I said, this is just a practice head. We're trying to, when we're digitizing, we're trying to figure out what's what and uh, what's the same, what's not. And we learned, uh, again, that the Gen 1 boss port uh, wasn't the same. And uh, you can see here that it does clean up, but it does, doesn't do the whole port. It did less than the Gen 1. So the Gen 1, you know, obviously it's just closer to the actual boss head than the Gen 2. But we're going to totally change this. We're going to go to the third port over here that's all stock. Let me show you that. Now this is the completely bone stock intake port for the Gen 2. We are going to make this thing badass. I'm gonna make fins out of the guide bosses. I'm gonna bring fins all the way out. I think you guys have seen the trend here. That's what I'm gonna do here. And let's look at the exhaust. Here is the Gen 1 port, our CNC port that we stuck in this. I, I think I'm gonna go back over this one because it barely, barely touched, or this one here, because uh, this is the boss port we stuck in here. It basically only touched right at the entrance of the port. It touched one part of the guide boss and then everything else, it didn't touch. So it's maybe like a little, little bit less work for me, but I'm okay with a little less work. We just experimented with this because I really wanted to see if the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 is a completely different head or is that just a rumor? And the only way I could really see is I could put the port on it. I could put the, the CNC port that we did for the Gen 1, put it on the Gen 2. It's obviously it's different. Now we are going to do the Gen 2.
Then we have this practice Gen 2 cylinder head, and we just tried the Gen 1 chamber in it just to see what it would do, and it didn't clean up right here. Now we're just going to clean this up, and everything else seemed really, really nice. It didn't, it blended everything in just like it did on the actual Gen 1 head. And all you only have to do here is blend this in, and we got that. We're going to re-digitize. This would be for our Gen 2 program. So now this thing is ported, we're going to roll it over to Matt. Matt's going to stick it in the machine and start digitizing. All right, guys, check this out. You can see, I think it looks snazzy. Um, the guide bosses have fins. They come all the way out here. And this thing cleaned up really, really well. I actually think this might be one of the better ports that we've done in terms of casting uh, because a lot of them have core shift. And, you know, you'll see like big, big areas and sides or uh, the roof that are not touched and this one pretty much cleaned up everywhere Pre Really really happy more of the same on the intake. I Am just ecstatic at how this cylinder head turned out. You can see that We have a fin on the top on the roof of the port. We have a fin on our floor of the port everything cleaned up very very nicely so here is the hand ported side. Now, actually I put a couple of different ports on this particular one and we just cut it with our new port, uh, but everything really, really blended in very nicely. I am just ecstatic at all of this. Let's, uh, let's check out the chamber. The combustion chamber is 
Okay, I, I just don't think that you can get a tool in here unless you blow out this whole side, you're not gonna get a tool in here to hit this. So um, whenever you get a CNC port, you're probably gonna see uh, right in this area here is not gonna be um, cut out from head games at least. And, but I'm not worried about it. It's not really an issue. Uh, a lot of these guys put, a lot of you guys put an O-ring in the head and it's very, very tight to the chamber. So I think I'd rather have a little bit too little um, in order to make sure that you guys have that circumference that you're gonna need or it's gonna blow out past the gasket. All right, guys, now this thing is ready for some GSC valve guides to go in it. And we're gonna do our valve job. I'm gonna throw it on the flow bench. I'm gonna validate our gains. And then it's gonna be mill and assembly. And I plan to show you all that, but just in another video. That's right, it's gonna do it for us today. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I would love to hear from you. I want to I want to hear what you want to see, especially out of the coyote. Toodles.